Hey everybody, it's Clay Man again, and today I'm doing the um, last part of the menu menu tutorial for a zombie shooter. And all I've done is basically spruced up the menu a bit and hid when you start, you see your spawn. So all we have to do now is we just have to make it so that you can go into this menu and choose stuff from that menu. And that's it. So what you're going to do is you're going to want to lay another microchip. So I'm just going to go and get a microchip and put it right there. I'm just going to bring the microchip over so it's easier to hook everything up over here. Okay. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to place an OR gate. It's that either sideways or sideways on the control stick will trigger the um, cycle button on the selector. So now just place the selector and it default it has four ports which is what we want and we're just going to move this down a bit so that there's more space for other things and select it to cycle. Um, we're going to plug in all the controls later. So now what we want to do is we want to make it so that you can only use these controls when you're in the music menu. So over here we see music is third down so we go over to the camera, the, the cameras and go one, two, three. So this is when you're going to be on the music menu. This is when you choose music menu. You're just going to hook it up to the microchip so that it's only active when you're in the music menu. So since um, sideways isn't inverted, like up and down, we can just hook them right up to uh, the holograms like that and it would be that simple. So I'm just going to hook these up. And then we're going to place some AND gates so that we can select our choice of music. And there's one last thing which is, I think is a glitch, but it, it might not be a glitch, it might just be something that's in the game. And I don't think MM it's worth fixing because there's a fix in game for it. So let's just add four AND gates. And as I said before, we'll hook up the controller later. Let's just move this down a bit so that uh, the wires don't get crossed. Okay, so now we just hook the selectors up to the one of the inputs on the AND gates, and we'll hook up X later. As I said a million times already, I don't need to repeat myself any, more than, any further than I already have, so we're just going to hook up the AND gates to make a selection. Um, today is going to be a short episode because it's just part two, but um, next week I'm going to be starting actually the player controls and stuff and that's when the sensitivity is going to come into use I'll show you how you make it so that you can use sensitivity and also I'll show you how to make a twin stick shooter like top down twin stick shooter it's a lot easier than you'd expect I thought it would be a lot more complicated but it's pretty much just put down two things and hook them up but then of course you have to make it so that it interacts with zombies and stuff so we've got that all hooked up so now we can just move it down here and now we're just going to hook in the controls to it. So left and right on the control stick. Into here. And left and right on the uh, buttons here. Hook it up to the selector. And also X. Um, I had to make a... Sorry the video didn't come out earlier. So that I had to redo it a bunch of times because I messed up so many times. Which was kind of sad. Okay, so now what we need to do is we need to make it so that this is just the, the patch thing. Because, well, I'll show you what what's kind of a glitch, I guess. I'm not sure if you think it's a glitch or not, but I think it's a glitch. So basically what happens is when you go into the music menu, it selects what music you're on because you just press X. So that's um, a problem. And also there is something else that I think I might have hooked up the wrong stick or something. Like, it's not working, this stick here. So I'm just going to see if I... Okay, and plug this in just in case I actually did and I just overlapped the other one. So, that's it. We're both into cycle. On the um, thingy, you have the R gate, on the end gate. Um... So now, to patch that glitch, kind of, where you go in, it'll just automatically start it. See, this is from the last episode where I tried to patch it, but I failed completely. So what you're going to want to do is you want to go and get a timer and set it to 0.2 seconds because that's not noticeable, but it also makes it set, and just set the length to 1. It also makes it so that um, 
so that it won't hit X, but it's not noticeable. So then what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to hook it up so that the, it'll make the start count up. So the input is, so the current time is zero, and the, and the input is start count up, and then you hook the music thing, because that's the only one that it'll affect, because there's no selections in any other menus, but if you're doing this for other menus, you want to do the same thing. And so what you do is when you press circle, it resets it so that your controls aren't disabled forever. And then this will just hook up to the microchip. I hope you kind of understand because it's kind of hard to explain what's happening. So we'll this microchip. So what's happening is when you go into the music menu, it'll start this timer which will delay your controls that you can use for 0.2 seconds so that you won't make a selection when you just press X but it's not even noticeable. Then what will happen was then it'll enable the microchip until you press circle and then it'll reset the timer when you press circle so that you can go back into the music menu if you want after. Okay, um, let's see if it works. So yeah, we can just go through everything. Another thing in options, I made it so that there wasn't any um was there any green box from sensitivity because it kind of made it hard to see. Okay, so music. You can scroll through everything and it doesn't make a selection as soon as we go in. So I just made that selection. And then when we go back to the music and go over to this one, it won't select it. And you can't even notice it that it disables it. You can't even notice it, so that's good. Um, and that's it. That's how you make an advanced menu in Movie Planet 2. Uh, it's, it looks complicated, but it's not actually that complicated. It's like not really that complicated. Um, and so, um, and when I say a top-down zombie shooter, I don't mean like an arena. I mean they come out of the barriers, and then they won't run into walls, and they'll follow your play around. That's what I'm making. So that'll be really cool. And I hope you guys have a nice weekend because it's Saturday. I hope you guys have a nice weekend, and I'm going to get the episode out, I'll try by Wednesday, but if it's not going to be out by Wednesday, then it should be out by Saturday at least, at least Saturday. Um, I hope you enjoyed the first episode of the Zombie Struck Shooter, uh, the two-parter series, well, no, just the two-parter episode, and I hope you subscribe so that you can see the next episodes, and I hope you have fun building this, I hope you have as much fun as I did making this video. Um, it's a clan, man. Peace.